Scientists have stumbled upon a previously undiscovered species of venomous snake, but warned it could already be at risk of extinction. The new subspecies of Bandy Bandy, a family of burrowing snakes endemic to Australia, was found by chance by biologists from the University of Queensland, who have quickly applied for it to be given protected status. The team came across it while researching sea snakes near Waipa, a mining town on the west coast of the state's Cape York Peninsula, in May. New species of extinct ape discovered in tomb of Chinese noblewoman Bandy Bandy is a burrowing snake, so freak Vonk from the Naturalis Museum and I were surprised to find it on a concrete block by the sea, said Professor Brian Fry, who was leading the research. We later discovered that the snake had slithered over from a pile of bauxite rubble waiting to be loaded onto a ship. On examination by my student, Chantal Derez, the Bandy Bandy turned out to be a new species, visually and genetically distinct from those found on the Australian east coast and parts of the interior. The team found another specimen in its natural habitat near Waipa and another that had been killed by a car close to a mine. Two more were discovered in museum collections. The Bandy Bandy, a species of burrowing snake, is thought to be at risk because of mining. University of Queensland biologists were previously aware of five species of Bandy Bandy, also known as the hoop snake, which carry a mild venom, can grow to about a meter in length, and feed almost exclusively on blind snakes. DNA analysis confirmed the discovery of a new species, which has been formally named Vermis alipars cauda. The Queensland biologist study, published in the journal Sutaxa, also established that the species was more closely related to bandy bandies which live in western Australia's tropical forests than those found in the Cape York Peninsula. But Professor Fry warned the new species may be in danger due to mining of its habitat. Bauxite mining is a major economic activity in the region, and it may be reshaping the environment to the detriment of native plants and animals, he said. Found in the Middle East, North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, the cobra's venom can kill a human within 15 minutes and an elephant in 3 hours. It can be recognized by its small flat head and round snout found across southern Africa. The snake, which has dark stripes, hunts small mammals, birds, lizards, frogs and toads once thought to be the world's deadliest snake. The black mamba is found in southern and eastern Africa. It strikes once, then waits for its prey to become paralyzed before devouring it. The snake, which is found in South Asia and India, has a speckled belly and a distinctive cross-shaped white mark on its head. Ants, lizards, scorpions and centipedes The color varies on this snake, which is found in Sub-Saharan Africa. It eats small rodents, lizards and other snakes. Unlike other snakes it projects its venom found in the Middle East, North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. The cobra's venom can kill a human within 15 minutes and an elephant in 3 hours. It can be recognized by its small flat head and round snout found across southern Africa. The snake, which has dark stripes, hunts small mammals, birds, lizards, frogs and toads once thought to be the world's deadliest snake. The black mamba is found in southern and eastern Africa. It strikes once, then waits for its prey to become paralyzed before devouring it. The snake, which is found in South Asia and India, has a speckled belly and a distinctive cross-shaped white mark on its head. It hunts lizards, scorpions and centipedes. The color varies on this snake, which is found in sub-Saharan Africa. It eats small rodents, lizards and other snakes. Unlike other snakes it projects its venom. The biologists this week formally applied for the Queensland government's Department of Environment and Science to declare the snake a threatened species status, if granted, would mean mining companies are required to consider the welfare of the species and avoid destroying its habitat. The importance of such discoveries goes beyond simply documenting what is out there, as venoms are rich sources of compounds that can be used to develop new medications, said Professor Fry. Every species is precious and we need to protect them all, since we can't predict where the next wonder drug will come from. The discovery of this enigmatic little snake is symptomatic of the much more fundamental problem of how little we know about our biodiversity and how much may be lost before we even discover it.